Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can install the TensorFlow GPU drivers and CUDA support with your TensorFlow. I'll be using here Windows with the WSL2 and the most important thing here, I'll be showing you how you can use your front-end computer, uh, basically how you can use your Windows file system to do your coding but in the back-end you can use your WSL. Alright, so here you will see there I am connected here with the WSL and thereafter I had imported my TensorFlow here. I have listed all the GPUs. I can see here my GPU is getting listed here. So this is something I'll uh, I'll be showing you. The most important thing here that it is connected with the WSL but you can do your coding from the Windows machine itself. So with this you do not need to worry about that. You need to work in the WSL. You need to work in the Ubuntu and any kind of the peer. You don't need to do that. All right, you can just install your drivers and the TensorFlow, everything in the WSL. Only you need to connect your uh, connect your Python kernel from here. All right, so it is like here. Just Python environment you have to select. Select your uh, Python environment which is sitting inside the WSL. That's all you have to do here. Thereafter, you can just simply run it. Then you can check here. This is running here. All right, and I'm using here the latest TensorFlow which is currently available at the time of the recording in uh, quarter four. Uh, in fact, in the quarter three of the 2025. All right, perfect. And uh, we will be using here this uh, TensorFlow uh, the guide, and this is the uh, something which we will be following. Other than that, I'll be showing you how you can install the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable, and then GE Force Game Ready driver, and thereafter uh, Accelerator. In that, I'll be showing you why you do not need to install anything inside the NVT uh, in, inside the WSL2. All these things. Okay. So without the wasting time, let's go ahead and get started with your TensorFlow with the GPU installation with the Windows WSL2. So the first of all we have to start here with the TensorFlow. So I come here at tensorflow.org install and here it says that how you can install your TensorFlow for WSL. Alright, so you need to come here, read the pip install guide, just click on there. Then it will lead you to the page where it says that these are the different versions for which you can install the TensorFlow. We are going to select here Windows WSL2 because the native Windows support has been already discontinued with the TensorFlow 2.11. You can install TensorFlow 2.10 or lesser than that, but that is quite old. So it is better to install the latest TensorFlow. We will be going through with the Windows WSL2. Don't worry, it is very much simple using this TensorFlow with the WSL2. It's a pretty much straightforward. Only the setup process is a little bit uh, tricky and the critical. Otherwise, you can work like... Uh, you know the natural file or like you know you do your coding naturally on your windows machine so you don't need to code on the wsl2 only you need to install your drivers on the wsl2 and thereafter you can start coding from the windows itself all right let me just show you what are the nvidia drivers i have currently so you see here i do not have any nvidia drivers here currently installed here in my applications i have so many other applications but there is nothing related to nvidia so we have to install here everything from the scratch so as we scroll it down, it says that we need to install NVIDIA driver first of all. All right. So we have uh, uh, we we assume that we have card which supports the GPU. Uh, basically, we have a GPU which supports uh, the CUDA architectures uh, 3.5, 5, 6, 7, and 8 higher than those. So basically, we have those. Then what you have to do here, you have to install your uh, NVIDIA driver here. So for that you have to scroll it down a little bit other than that you also need to see here that it needs here microsoft visual c plus plus redistributable for visual studio so this is something which we also need here you just need to click on here thereafter thereafter it will uh, tell you to install the necessary file from here as you just uh, click on here it is going to download so once this is downloaded then i'll show you other than this we have to install the GPU drivers and toolkit. All these things we need to install in WSL. This one and this one we need to install on your Windows machine. All right. So here it is. There you will see you have to select your uh, GPU here. What kind of GPU you have currently. And accordingly you need to download your driver here. So I have here GE Force 20 series. And thereafter I need to select here 2060. So basically I'll be selecting here 2060 and then I have here Windows 11. That's all. All right. Click on find. Thereafter it is going to find out the relevant driver for me. All right. 
So seems like it has Windows 10 and 11 for both. We have here GeForce Game Ready and Studio Driver. So basically we need this Game Ready. All right, just click on View and then you just simply need to click on the Download. So this is going to be downloaded here. Let me just show you my download folder. So here this one is the Visual Studio Redistributor. You just need to click on here. Then it will ask you to install this. So I have already installed. So I assume that you just need to install it as usual uh, for you all right i just click on the repair so it'll be it, it, it will be showing you the uh, the repair window seems like it has repaired that successfully anyway so this is pretty much straightforward you just need to click on this and thereafter uh, 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 there would be a pre-selected uh, uh, the options and then you can complete that all right thereafter this download is also uh, this one game ready is also getting downloaded let's wait for that all right, so the download has happened here. Now I can see it here that uh, this download has been completed almost. I'm just waiting to uh, get it finished. All right, let's go ahead and click on this. Now this is going to install our uh, NVIDIA driver on Windows. Do remember there is two part, one is Windows, another one is the WSL system. So on Windows, we have to install these two things here. One is Visual Studio and then another one is this one click on OK. So this one is going to extract the necessary files. All right. So extraction is done. It has started here installation process. So I agree and continue. And thereafter, I'm going to use express installation here. And pretty much that is pre-selected whatever is required here. Now it has started installing. So it will take a lot of time to install since this is the first time I'm installing NVIDIA driver on my computer. So it will take time. Alright, so it took some time. Now installation is done. Let's click on close. It has finished all the installation. Now I can see the list of all these uh, NVIDIA installed drivers here. Earlier these were not visible. Alright. Thereafter I see here all of these things are done. Then click on next. Thereafter next and done. Alright, so finally now I have my NVIDIA drivers here. Once your NVIDIA driver is available here, seems like some update is available here. So I just uh, relaunch this so that the latest update can be installed here. All right, so all done here. I'm just going to close this. Everything is good to go here. Once you have your driver on Windows machine and also you have your C++ redistributable, redistributable version installed, then we can get started with the WSL part. So you need to open your terminal here. So Windows PowerShell, I open here. And thereafter in Windows PowerShell, you have to make sure that you have your WSL installed here. So we'll start with the WSL part here, first of all. All right. So first of all, let's go ahead and install our Ubuntu here. So I write WSL install Ubuntu. This is going to install all the required packages. Again, this is going to take some time. Okay, so seems like I already had name of the Ubuntu in my WSL. Seems like because of that, it is not able to, uh, you know, to register that. But anyway, if you are doing it first time, so it will automatically install that Ubuntu for you. As you can see here that this is running for me now. All right. And uh, before that, let's say if you have your Docker and may, many other type of WSL system. So always make sure that you set your Ubuntu as default WSL, something like that. And thereafter, if you write here WSL, it is going to enter here inside your Ubuntu here. All right. So the first time if you do it, it will ask about the username and the password. So you have to enter your username and the password. So I assume that you will enter your username and password. Do not forget about to note your username and the password there. Once this part is done, thereafter, we are going to upgrade WSL uh, Ubuntu system. So you can just write here sudo opt update sudo opt upgrade y. And here I'm going to give my password as I told you here. All right. All right. So Ubuntu update is done. Let's go ahead and create a virtual environment, which is named as ML. So what I do here, I'm just going to copy this uh, command and then I'm going to paste it here. I have already noted down all the commands which I'm going to use. Later on, I'll also post this in the video so that uh, you can follow along with that video. All right. So everything is installed here. 
now i'm going to create a virtual environment here and the name of that virtual environment is going to be the ml here all right so this is going to be a python virtual environment and thereafter i'm going to activate that virtual environment all right let's go ahead and activate this so now i can see here that my ml environment is activated here once you have activated your ml environment you have to also upgrade your pip so that it can get all the latest version of the tensorflow all right once that part is done then you can come here at tensorflow installation page and in wsl2 you will see here that you can check nvidia smi on windows machine and thereafter inside that as we upgraded our pip and thereafter you can just simply run this to install your gpu uh, cuda and tensorflow there so i come here and then i can see here the pip is getting installed in meantime let's go ahead and check nvidia smi all right so we can check that here nvidia smi it will show us that what version we have currently all right this happened because we had installed on windows this nvidia driver all right so we come here we see the pip has been upgraded here now it is time to install our tensorflow with the cuda do remember inside this wsl you do not need to install any cuda related software here separately you have to install it with the tensorflow and the cuda why i am saying this because this is something which uh, which uh, nvidia has uh, told us you know specifically here so you will notice here that nvidia has told us specifically that do not do any of these things let me just show you the so somewhere it has told us here right user must not install any nvidia gpu driver all right within the wsl2 so this is something what people uh, do a lot of time and because of that what happened here when they install any driver inside the wsl2 then that update on the windows host and because of that your gpu is not being recognized by the tensorflow this is the major cause the people have been doing there and because of that your tensorflow is not able to use the gpu but what we are doing here as you see here this is going to install only cuda and qdnn it is not going to install any gpu driver because the gpu driver we have already installed on the windows and that gpu driver is connected and that is passed through to the wsl automatically so that is why you do not need to install the nvidia driver but you have to install the cuda and qdnn that is why we are installing tensorflow with the cuda all right so the tensorflow has been installed here now it is time to check whether it has been installed correctly or not so this part is done now let's go ahead and check this uh, in fact this one this one will show us that if gpu is recognized or not let's go ahead and run here so python import tensorflow as df and then df config list physical devices here so here it has started running a lot of warning is coming which is fine so this warning comes if a, a particular library is imported multiple time which is fine uh, this one is not going to give you any error in runtime all right perfect now you see here that your gpu is recognized here all right if you run it again here so you will again notice that it will show you your recognized gpu this one all right if you get here empty list that's mean gpu is not getting recognized so this is a pretty much a straightforward lesson i'm sure once you follow this then you would be able to make sure that your gpu is working with the tensorflow let's go ahead and install the jupyter lab here so that we can get started with the jupyter notebook and then i'll show you how you can test that on your notebook as well so i'm going to install jupyter lab a lot of necessary libraries are getting installed here all right so the jupyter lab has been installed here now i'm going to show you how you can use your vs code with the wsl backend but uh, your files are on windows machine basically so what i'll do here i come here in my download folder and in this download folder i'm just going to create one download folder uh, one folder let's see the coding and this coding folder i'm going to use for my vs code all right so what i'll do here first of all i'm going to open my vs code here all right so this is going to open a vs code all right so it is going to be something like this a vs code is running here and thereafter come here in extension and there you can write wsl with this wsl installed here you would be able to connect your vs code with the wsl all right so you can 
search here WSL all right not like that I'm sorry control shift and the P and thereafter write there WSL so it says that here connect to WSL all right and then open folder in WSL like that so you can just click on there connect WSL you will notice here that it is opening this remote WSL here you will notice this Windows WSL is connected here all right and then I'm saying that I'm going to open a folder here all right so you can just click on open folder now where we need to open our folder we need to go inside our directory where is that C users Lakshmi basically all right and uh, let me just see that inside downloads we had created there our folder that was the coding all right and then we are going inside the coding so this is the overall folder where we need to go we just come here let me just close the other one so we come here the coding one and then click on ok so that is going to open that coding here I say here don't show this again and then what I do here I'm going to create a notebook here let's say the Jupyter notebook a simple Jupyter notebook and then I just save it here with some name let's say coding all right let me just close that and then I write here import panda as pd now you see here it says install enable suggested python okay let's install that as well if it is asking about that in meantime while we are doing that now you can clearly see here that the coding dot ipynb which we had saved there that we can see it here all right and that is available here all right so now we need to register our ml environment so that our python kernel can be recognized by the jupyter notebook so what i do here first of all i'm going to activate in fact it is already activated so i don't need to activate i have to install ip kernel and also i have to make sure that it is visible to uh, our jupyter notebook so i'm just going to use this one so that it can display the name here all right and it says home bin no module named ip kernel seems like i have to first of all install this uh, ipy kernel once that part is installed and thereafter i can register my environment with my kernel all right let's go ahead and do this so here it says that okay this is registered once this is registered now i can open my vs code so i'm just going to open my vs code inside this particular folder now you see this particular folder is inside my windows here all right in download coding so wherever you want to open you can just go there okay you can just do here uh, cd change the directory and then code and dot it will open your vs code there itself all right and it says that your notebook is uh, your jupyter server is running basically behind the scene thereafter here in the python kernel this one was pre-selected in my case but in your case it will ask about the python environment you have to select your python environment and that environment is here all right do you see here that ml python 3.12 so this is something which we had created earlier all right you need to select that one and then you can just simply run it it says that no module named pandas anyway we have not installed that so we do not want that we want to just check whether our tensorflow gpu is being recognized or not all right so that's all we want here so i import here my tensorflow and thereafter i run tf.config and all other things whatever i need to run there basically okay it says that here that means my GPU is getting recognized. I can check my Python version as well here. Uh, sorry, the TensorFlow version. It says that 2.19.0. This is the latest version currently the TensorFlow have. So we have successfully installed here the TensorFlow. I have shown you here that now you can get started with your coding.